Hey everybody, XU here with another Puzzle and Dragons video, and yesterday we got a JP stream releasing some news. I'm just gonna go through the important things, like things that might come to NA and whatnot. So we got a new folder system, I'm not gonna go into that because I didn't see the video, because I wouldn't have been able to play the video. See, so yeah. Then we got a 3 players co-op. It's not as good as 2 player because in 3 player you can't, you don't share your HP, you don't share your leaders. But you do share the same board, so if one of you has got a screwed up board, you all you all have a screwed up board. So yeah, same thing as regular co-op, but no shared leads. Skills will only charge on own turn, whereas you know when you have your other, you have your two player co-op. Damn it, I can't speak. You have your leaders every turn charging, which <clears throat> that shouldn't really limit you at all. <laughs> Since you're playing every three turns, so yeah. Find recovery skills and awakens only work on your own team. That's really bad. No badges. Thirty seconds time limit per turn. I think they should should have left it at one minute. You know, a minute each, but no, because thirty seconds is very, very, very little time. So that's kind of disappointing. Then there is the multi boost will still work. Ganesha, his leader skill will only activate on the team for the player that took him. So, it won't activate for everybody else. So, that's a little disappointing. Other players can still continue if one gets a game over. It just says one, so I'm guessing the other two will be turned into a double player co-op or not. I don't know. The 7x6 leader skill doesn't know, they don't know how it'll be used, how it'll be implemented. And this will be starting in March for JP, so it'll come here to any around June, Jul I mean July. Yeah, no, June, July, maybe. Maybe the end of May, who knows. So yeah, next we have um, who's getting buff, and it's Verdandi. Sadly, Max Murai wasn't able to show up because of a neck injury. Poor guy, I hope he gets better. Then we have pad stickers, not important. Free roll for JP anniversary puzzle. Damn it! Player's Choice God Fest. So yeah, I hope we get a free pull as well. Then we have the rank 500 egg machine, which is one random gall exclusive. So not as good as 250. Not even 150. I think this would have to be the worst out of all the three. So yeah, rank 555 or higher players will get a five years anniversary to Madra. I want that. I really do. And it takes 55 turns. Oh my god. 55 turns to charge that skill. Damn. Five more months of event rush. Lots of resets in for JP in March. So we're probably getting a reset as well. You know, the rank 150, rank 250 rem pulls. So yeah. And Alpha Pet is going to be really happy. Because we got a new rem renewal, and the fruit dragons are out, the elementals are out, the late bloomer dragons are out. They are no longer on there. I am very happy as well. So yeah, and they even have Sylph right there. For those who are subscribed to Alpha, you, you know what I'm talking about. You probably do. So we got a new series, Braves and Weapons. I'm not going to try to pronounce the Braves Weapons names, because they are freaking difficult. Except for Arendite. That's the only one that's easy. So yeah, and Kaladbolg. And after that, there's a dragon series. And they're cute. I can't say they're menacing. They look cute to me. They look really adorable. Like, I want to hug them. Like, my favorite would have to be the blue, because I really like water attribute. That's my favorite in every game that I play. Except for Pokemon. So, yeah. I really like them. Second is dark, because I, I have a dark Connor team. So, yeah. Hopefully they make it a TBA-based. So yeah, Kenshin collab is coming back, so that means Kenshin's gonna be even more, doing even more damage. Though probably not because of the 64-bit processor limit, or 32-bit, forgot. We got a new Shonen Weekly Magazine collab, Weekly Shonen Magazine collab, damn, pronounced it wrong. So yeah, the only one that I'm really jealous about is the fairy tale one, because I, I actually like fairy tale. So yeah, there's Natsu and Happy, and then at the bottom, Urza, a little mad. We're, not, we're never getting that. So yeah, now we have 55, 55, 55. They're really obsessed with fives because of the five-year anniversary. 
So yeah, 55 cards can now be used as assists. That's all the cards here. I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting. Oh, wow, Siegfried. Hmm. That's actually kind of, kind of interesting. Siegfried. Regular Valkyrie, Anna Valkyrie. Wow, there's actually some cards here. And none. Not a single one of the healer girls. Damn. All right, so yeah. Then, <clears throat> after that, the middle one. We have 55 books. Monsters that are getting buffed and the last 55 are 55 monsters that are getting an ultimate and I see Andromeda there So she's probably getting an Awoken same thing with Yamato Takedu So yeah, really nice. Well, they're just getting Evos Well, oh, oh yeah, it says ults, but whatever <sighs> Heroine evolutions Very disappointing Miso she only got a bind recovery Sheen Sheena, I mean, and Mel got a skill band resist. That, that's actually really good, I'm not gonna lie. Kuvia, she only got a skill boost. I was hoping another TPA and a skill band resist, but no, very, very disappointing. Momiji got a skill boost. Navi got a time extend. This girl, I don't know. This girl, I don't know. This girl, I don't know. And damn. Damn, Australis can't stop taking a peek. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what... So yeah, here's Navi, 4 times attack for leader skill now. Judy, 1.5 times attack and HP to water and wood cards, 5 times attack and damage reduction when attacking with water and wood at the same time. So yeah, Barbara added a time extent and leader skill is 2 times to all machine type stats. And 4 times attack with fire and dark. That's really bad because they're... Still pulls very, very limited. So, yeah. <clears throat> Mary, now a sixth row. There's too many rows. Leader skill sc scales. Leader skill scales up to 11.25 times. Nah. That's still pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Janumi just got stat boosts. Stat buffs, I mean. Not so great, very lackluster. Romeo add a skill bind resist and leader skill goes up to five times attack. Illumina leader ult. So I'm guessing she's getting split ult. Loses two skill boosts. Three and loses her three killers. Replaced by a skill bind resist. A seven combos two times attack. Three dark resists. Eh, that's really lackluster. She's got four times four point five times attack and damage reduction when attacking with fire and light and she stops the 7x6 board Utica she went from water dark to light to dark water I was hoping she would stay water dark but no even though we don't have her and I don't got her still I wanted her to stay like that then we got the her leader skill which is 7x6 <clears throat> board 6.5 times attack and 2 times recovery when attacking with fire, water, wood, dark, and heal. Yeah. We got some new ultimate evils. Split Satsuki's finally. She's the very last dragon caller, I think. Yeah, she's the last dragon caller to get her ult. And she finally has panties on, so she's finally an innocent bride. So yeah, though from this look, she's not so innocent. So yeah, she's got a 4th TPA, a skill bind resist, and a devil killer on the subversion. I'm I'm gonna use the sub obviously for my dark kind of team. You got awoken Amon or awoken Amon, however you want to pronounce it. 1.5 times to all stats for devil and dragon types. Four times attack when attacking with water water. That that sounded very weird when I said water water. So yeah, awoken ball. Two times attack and recovery to devil and machine types. Three times attack when attacking with light and fire. Oh, this is ball. I was. I had him mixed up with um the other one. I don't know this. Yeah, ball. I had bells above mixed up. Damn, I mixed up the names. So yeah, then we got Reevil Astaroth, Devil Healer Attacker. Two times HP, four times HP, and sixty-four times attack for Devil Healers with double leads. Luckily, they had that there. Saved me some breath. Reevil Hermes, Devil Attacker God. 2 times HP and attack to water cars, 3.5 times attack when attacking with fire water combos. 
Re-Evil Persephone, got her god typing back. She can be used on a Sukuyomi Dragon team once again. So yeah, she's got 1.5 times attack to dark cards and 3.5 times attack when attacking with dark and water. Re-Evil Frere, he's got a god typing again. Added summon combos equals two times attack awake. I I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to pronounce that in a faster way. Two times attack and recovery to fire. Two point five times fire card attack after using skill. Yeah. Reevil Loki got his god typing again and the same seven combos awakening. That's what I'm gonna call it. Seven combos awakening. There. Leader skill. Two point five times attack and recovery to dark. Two point five times dark card attack. After using skill, my mouth is dry. Izanagi got a dragon typing, 50% shield, 4 times attack with cross heal, cross of heal orbs. That that really made no sense. Cross of heal orbs. Um, two times attack and recovery to god and dragon and balance types. Wow, his sub pool is open even further. Ryuo Sukuyomi. I'm just saying this is what Jerry would have wanted. Even though by the time I got here, Jerry was gone. So yeah. <clears throat> eh. You know, like, the, compared to the New Year, she's not as good, but what do we expect? Like, New Year's Kana is considered to be better than the regular Kana, so yeah. She has 3 times attack for a 501e, and 6 times attack, so that is 18. That is quite high damage. So yeah. Re-Evil Haku, she got an attacker type. And I forgot to mention that Tsukuyami got her god typing again. So yeah. So Revo Haku got the 7 combos awaken. 30% damage reduction against all attributes. 4.5 times attack when attacking with 2 of fire, water, or dark orbs. So yeah. Revo Sakuya. Yeah. Disappointed. Though she did get her god typing back. 5 times attack when attacking with fire, water, wood, and light. I just hate the five poems um leader skill. No or what's it called? Yeah. Something origin leader skills. I just hate those. Increase the attack after five or more combo skills up to four times. So that is twenty times twenty four hundred. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. So yeah, next we have um some buffs. We have the healer girls, the sticker girls, that's what they're called. They're now all unbindable. And their leader skill, their active skill, um, turns poisons into heals, heal orbs, and they come with three turns of bind recovery. So that's really nice. See, I'm really happy because I happen to have Miski. I really want to use her again, and I'm gonna use her once more. Very satisfied. Fenrir, active skill minus one down to four turns. His leader skill is still impossible to use, and he has a time extend. Awoken. Re-Evil Bastet, active skill down to 4 turns. Deer skill buff to 3 times attack with 4 combo skills up to 5 times with 8 combos. 2.5 times attack and 1.5 times recovery after using a skill. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. re Anubis down to 7 turns. Damn. I actually have Anubis. I just have to say that. Leader skill buff to 5 times attack with 8 combo skills up to 10 times attack. 3 times attack and 1.5 times recovery after using a skill. Alright, we finally got a recovery multiplier on him. Yay. So yeah, that's all I got. That's all I have to say. So yeah, Guan Yu. Oh, that's no more HP requirement. Hmm. And 1.5 times recovery to physical and dragon types. And also 3.5 times attack. I'm a little lightheaded. Added auto recovery and seven combos awoken skill. Plus 500 HP. Red Guan Yu, leader skill no more. HP requirement, four times attack and two times recovery to balance and dragon type skill bite. Resist has been added and a seven combos awoken skill as well. Plus 400 HP and plus 100 recovery. So yeah, GZL, your skill buff to three times attack with attribute with card attack when above 80% HP 5 times attack with card when below 80% HP 
30 TPA added and 2 fire resist. 400 plus HP. LZL, near skill buff 2. <clears throat> 7 times for attack to healer types when HP is full. 3 times attack to healer types when below 99% HP. Meh. 3rd TPA added and 2 dark resist. Plus 300 HP, plus 100 attack, plus 90 recovery. Plus 90 recovery there. Ah, oh, damn it. This thing twisted. That's not good. So, yeah, Valkyrie, Leer skill buff 2. 3 times attack to healer and god types. 2 times attack when matching 4 or more connected orbs of their respective attributes. Hmm. <clears throat> so now they're on par with Anna Valkyrie, who's not really that great. So, yeah, add a respective 1 resistance. Add a guard break and a seven times, a seven combos awoken, plus fifty attack and plus one hundred and ten recovery for all. So yeah, that guard break awoken is pretty broken. And I just realized I made a bad pun. I just realized I made a pun. Crap. And it was bad at that. So yeah, um, guard break for those who don't know um, reduces fifty percent of their um, of the enemy's um defense, but only for that for the monster that has that. And if you have to happen to have two, you lower the defense one hundred percent. So yeah. Alright, guy nut. Do your skill four times attack with four attributes, five times attack. For five, three times attack with three or more connected jammer arms up to three times. I don't know what I read. Okay. Whatever. So yeah, multi boost skill awoken and uh time extend added. Wall song now four times attack when attacking with four attributes, one point five times attack. And 25% shield for 7 or more combos. Added multi boost awakening. awakening. Lynthia LS, 4 times attack with 5 attributes. 4 attribute plus heal. 2 times attack and recovery when attacking with 3 or more poison or more or more mortal. Oh my gosh. Or mortal poison orbs. Added multi boost and time extend wakes. I did this once already and I failed miserably, so that's why I'm speaking so badly I'm going a little crazy now Nordis leader skill oh my gosh how many buffs oh hell no okay I give up I'm just gonna go through them like the important ones so they all got the multi boost awake Zerog now seven times attack with four dark combos up from like I think four or five. Nordis, leader skill now, four times attack dragon types, thirty percent damage reduction from wood and light enemies. Oh my gosh, I'm so lightheaded. Avalon Drake, leader skill buff to two times HP and two times attack to wood cards and god types. Two times attack when attacking with wood and light combos. Oh crap. Added fourth skill bind. Skill boost. Fenrir Viz. Your skill is 10 times attack when using jammers. 1.5 times to all stats for double type cards. Added second skill bind res Skill boost, damn it! Apocalypse. His leader skill is buffed to 3 times attack and 1.5 times HP to light cards and dragon types. 2 times attack when attacking with light dark combos. Dantalion. Ellis. Buff to 3 times attack per fire cross and 3 times attack and 2.5 times and 25% shield when matching to heal combos. Toy Dragons added bind resist now bind immune and bind recovery awakes. So that's actually pretty decent and I sold mine already. Snow White added 2 water rows, the other fairy tale girls, bind recovery and second CPA awakening. Ray Cyrus. Like Dil Cyrus by immune. I'm not gonna pronounce those names. They just got buffs. The puppeteers got a guard break and a skill boost. Shang Mei got second and third fire rows. Yu Yu got seven combos awoken. Xu Ming got third and fourth light row. Xing Hua got second row and second CPA. Napoleon, Robin Hood, and Yang Guifei. Got seven combos awakening, awakening. Bar Barbarossa and Nobunaga got skill, got a skill boost and 
she got a four a boost to her attack plus 400 now at 1,053 1, she's got some of the highest damage potential out there yeah that is it oh my gosh I'm lightheaded I'm really lightheaded I apologize if the quality got bad like towards the end it's just I, I've already done this once and this is my second time doing it I failed the very first time so yeah that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comment section below about this update what's your favorite part what are your favorite evil evos what are your least favorite what are your favorite buffs least favorite buffs let me know all that in the comment section below and until next time